Good morning. Today we're going to talk about how we can help people we love with their boundaries. This is one of the most important topics, which is how to build stronger boundaries, how to build better boundaries. Oftentimes, when we talk about boundaries, we often are thinking of ourselves. We're often talking about our journey. We're often talking about how we can create better boundaries to impact our life in a positive way. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. However, there is a there is a hack that I want to give you that if you want to create better boundaries for yourself, one of the ways that you can do that is to actually support your friends and your family, uh, your partner, your kids, your teammates, your coworkers, support them and their boundaries. I'm going to give you a challenge, but I just want to be mindful of this. I don't want you to do this challenge if it is going to cause you to self abandon because what boundaries do, right? Having the framework of boundaries and having boundaries is basically an invitation to intimacy. It's an invitation to, hey, this is how you can treat me. It's an invitation to, this is how I wanna be treated, how I wanna be loved, this is how I wanna be respected, this is how I wanna be interacted with. So the challenge I'm going to give you is actually, it's, it's a two-fold challenge. One is gonna teach people in your life about their boundaries, which in my mind is, is gonna be a cause and effect. So if you teach people about their boundaries and support people in their boundaries, in my mind, that's gonna also create the safe space for them to support you and for them to help you. Now, the only disclaimer is, if this is going to cause you to self-abandon at all, do not do this. So here's the challenge. Two to three people, no more, okay? Don't do it with just one. Pick two to three people in your life. Now, don't think that this has to be your best friend or your parent. It can be someone that you're not even really close with. It could be a weak tie, right? In, in communication, we call them a, a weak tie. Someone that you know, you don't know them super deep, but just someone that you know and have a good rapport with. Pick someone you're really close with, like, you know, a cousin, a brother, a best friend, um, two to three people. And what I want you to do is have a boundary conversation with them today. Don't wait today and just simply create a safe landing space for them so ask them hey what's going on with your boundaries in your life where do you need improvement where can i support you in your boundaries like what do what can i do to help your life be better with your boundaries and i want you to create that safe space for them so i'll give you a practical example let's say you have a friend who's on a weight loss journey you want to help them out. Maybe maybe you have a really good relationship with food and fitness and you feel like you could help them out. So maybe what you could do is just create a safe, safe landing spot for them and just say, hey, would you like me to text you once a week just to check in with you to see how your see how your relationship with food is, to see how your your week went in the gym? Would that help you with your boundaries? Or another practical example, let's say you have a friend who has uh, a boundary issue with money. Maybe, maybe they're spending too much, they're an overspender. Maybe what you could say is, hey, I have no problem meeting with you for 15, 20 minutes next Sunday uh, and just going over a budget. Do you have a budget? Yeah, okay, well, we could just meet just over FaceTime or Zoom or maybe we could get a coffee and we could just talk about your budget for 20 minutes. I'm really good with my budget. We could just talk about it for like 20 minutes for like the next four weeks. Just because I wanna support you, I wanna help you with your boundaries. Would you be open to that? Here's what that's gonna do for you psychologically. Psychologically, you are going to be pulling from your soul. You are going to be pulling your own strength. You're going to be pulling your own courage directly from your soul. And you are going to be offering that to someone. They may not accept it, but you're going to be offering. And when you do that, when you offer support of another person's boundary, what happens is you re you subconsciously realize like, wow, I also need to support my own boundaries. And then you are going to realize that it's easy for me to show up for other people and to support them in, my, in, in their boundaries. And because it gets easier for me to support other people in their boundaries, now it actually gets easier for me also to support myself in my boundaries. That's why this boundary challenge is so beautiful because it's twofold. It supports another and it supports self. Now we realize if we if we if we do this, we realize it's actually threefold because now that's called community. Now you have invited boundaries into the into the entire community. 
You and another person together makes community. You on your own is just your body and your soul. But you plus another person having a boundary conversation is community. In my course, Build Your Boundaries, one of the main concepts that I teach is that we have to bring our boundaries from, a, from the body level and we have to bring them to the community level. We have to bring them to a, com a communal space. We have to bring them into the family level. We have to bring them into the relationship level. Boundaries cannot simply be communicated solely in the body. We have to bring the boundaries out of the body and into the family, into the relationship, into the team, into the whatever it is you're doing, into the job. We have, it's, it, it is our practice to bring them up. If you are brand new uh, to me, my name is Sylvester McNutt III. I'm the best-selling author of the Free Your Energy Care Package and Lust for Life books. Uh, I'm the host of the Free Your Energy podcast. One of the founding experts of the emotional wellness app called Mind. Make sure you download that. It's an emotional wellness app. You can get all types of support every single day from human connection specialists, gurus, teachers, um, licensed marriage and family therapists, counselors, we have a sex therapist. Make sure you download that app. To get my entire framework on boundaries, go to buildyourboundaries.net and you can enroll in the course. It's a self-paced course. When you get the course, basically you get, I believe it's up to 38 videos or so that teach you how to build healthy boundaries without feeling guilty. Oftentimes we feel guilty for setting boundaries. The course teaches you how to not feel guilty because guilt is not yours to hold. It's, the boundary is yours to hold. The strength that's inside of you is yours to hold. The love that is inside of you is yours to hold. So if you want to learn about the boundary framework, just go to buildyourboundaries.net and you can register for the course. And I thank you for your time uh, and I hope you continue to free your energy.